will always tell me, stay in your lane Do your thing, but try to be different I look at them and laugh like I ain't gon' change I've been the same, plus I'm way too consistent When that radio's on, we the only thing playing In the car, I got the windows down Zombie on the left side, thinking that the brain We different, ain't nobody putting us down What's up guys, it's X-Rays, and welcome to one more commentary for you guys, as you guys are seeing and playing some Black Ops. I thought I'd break it up from all the Modern Warfare 3 that everybody's been posting, and everybody gets kind of tired of watching a dying game already. So, that's the reason you're seeing some uh, Black Ops in the background, just using the MPL, and uh, I, I do pretty good here. I end up getting my chopper gunner, my dogs, and my SR-71, I think it was, but uh, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy that in the background, and I have a topic that I want to talk to you guys about. It's basically, will Black Ops 2 be a chance for people to blow up their channel? So, uh, we all know Modern Warfare 3 did a good job for some people uh, who got insane gameplays. Uh, they grew their channel and, you know, just a huge amount over a short span of time. We know people like Green Goblin, Jay Nasty, and, you know, just a bunch of other people who just posted up insane gameplay and then their channel grew because of it. Now, that probably will happen too in Black Ops. Somebody post a, you know, insane 100 plus or something, but it won't be as big of a thing because there won't be any Moabs in it or stuff like that. Uh, you know, these big kill streaks people want to see. So, you won't see people running around getting, you know, Penta Moabs anymore because that won't be in the game. So, the, the chances of people growing a huge amount over a short span of time because of gameplay will kind of be, you know, shrinked more than it was before because I mean I mean people can still grow if they have like hundred pluses and stuff like that and people are interested in that but it won't be as exciting as watching multiple Moabs and stuff like that so I'm gonna say that people who are gameplay channels will grow still but they won't grow at the rate that they did when Modern Warfare 3 first came out now that being said Black Ops was the exact same way. People didn't uh, people didn't grow because of the gameplay, but they grew because of the content they produced because of the gameplay. Black Ops was a great way for people to grow their channel. If you guys think I'm lying, look at people like White Boy Seventh Street. White Boy Seventh Street, when Black Ops first came out, he was at around 400k subs, and then once Black Ops came out over the year, over the course of Black Ops, he grew to over a million subs. Now. You guys probably think I'm lying, but no, if you look at the stats, he even made a video himself talking about how Black Ops was the, was the key game that made his channel grow and it made his channel blow up. Now, so what does this tell me? This tells me that when Black Ops 2 comes out, this is going to be a huge chance for anybody. It doesn't matter whose channel it is, they are going to have a huge chance to grow their channel. Why do I mean this? Again, going back to the fact that gameplay won't be such a huge thing. Sure, people will want to see it, but people who are creative and have their own kind of series and things going with Black Ops 2 will grow their channel just the way that White Boy did. He did not focus on gameplay when Black Ops came out. He did High Roller, he did stuff like that, he made live stuff, and that's basically what gave him a chance to grow his channel. Now, am I going to be able to try to use this? I think I will because you know, theater mode is going to be so much better in Black Ops 2 and it's going to, you know, lean towards the things that I do, like how to be a noob, stuff like that. I have other series planned. So I think my channel will grow exponentially with Black Ops 2, hopefully, fingers crossed. And I also think that my second channel, which is all going to be tips and tricks and stuff like that, is going to start off great. It's going to start off and uh, people are really going to enjoy it. So hopefully people do uh, enjoy my content and... Uh, you know that channel is going to grow. I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary guys. Leave a comment down below. Do you think that Black Ops 2 is going to be a great chance for people to grow their channel? Uh, you know more so than in Modern Warfare 3. If you do leave a comment down below. I want to see some thoughts on that. And I'm extra some out guys. Peace. What's up guys? Welcome to my outro. It is X-Rays. And if you made it this far I appreciate it. Thanks a lot. I appreciate everyone who makes it this far into the video. Anyways jumping straight into it. Two videos that you guys may have missed. The video on the left new menu image was teased or was leaked by David Vonderhaar for people to check it out. If you guys want to see what the emblem creator menu is going to look like, go ahead and click on that video on the left. It's on my tips and tricks channel. And go ahead and subscribe also if you want to stay up to date with all uh, Black Ops 2 info. Video on the right, Chill Pill Episode 2. I have a, a weekly podcast now with the Ocean OPZ. We're going to have a bunch of guests on there. You guys can be on there as well if you uh, submit yourself or you know enter yourself into the uh, poll that I have on my Facebook. Link to my Facebook also in the description. And the annotation on the top, subscribe. And the annotation on the bottom uh, to my second channel to subscribe over there if you are not already subscribed so i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did a like and a favorite is always appreciated and i'm exes i'm out guys peace